Hello and welcome back. Today we will continue our reading of the ancient spells. We will be starting on page 27. To stop a hemorrhage, it is necessary to write, for example, consumatum est alga, agla, with one's own blood, which can also be seen in the charm of Longinus where it should be written on the hand and accompanied by two crosses, one on each side of Agla. Agla works against fevers in the following way. You should take three hosts and write on the back of the first one and on its outer perimeter, a cross on, cross, jeh, sus, cross on, cross, leo, on, cross, Filius, cross, then cross, A, cross, G, cross, L, T, A, in the middle. On the second right, cross, on, <laughs> O, M, G, cross, on, cross, Aries, cross, on, cross, Agnus, cross, and in the middle, cross, T, cross, Tra, cross, gra, cross, ma, cross, ton. And we know that phrase, that is tetragrammaton. The third host should bear these phrases. Cross on cross pater, cross on cross gloria, cross on cross mundus. While on the back, Jehusus Nazarenus, Cross Crucifixus, Cross Rex, Cross Judeorum, Cross Sit, Medicina, Mia, should be written. Each day you should recite five Our Fathers and five Hail Marys. A 15th century German manuscript includes the following magical prescription against poisoning. For one who has been poisoned by poison, write the following words on three sheets of virgin parchment and swallow them. One in the morning, one at noon, one in the evening. And if one has been the victim of a poisoner, the poison will leave at once and he will be healed. Here are the words. Cross Agla, cross, 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 Efrika, Ga, cross, 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 Agla, cross, Refoa, Cross, cross, cross. There are very good symbols printed in this book, so please do visit archive.org and look for the Dictionary of Ancient Magic Words and Spells from Abraxas to Zohar by Claude Lekatu, because it is important to see the symbols that go with these spells. In the Lesser Keys of Solomon, Agla also appears on the fourth pentacle of Mars. For a difficult birth, Agla can be found in the charm of Saint Suzanne, combined with the very popular phrase Christus Vincit Cras Susan, combined with uh, oh, Christus Regnat Cras Christus Imperat Cras A Cras G Cras L Cras a cross amen a birthing charm from upper ogvern vergne whose contents partially date from the early middle ages was opened in 1925 and our phrase was discovered in the following form cross a cross g cross l a agoyas cross o dios cross yes Kyrios, cross Emmanuel, cross Omnipotens, Virtuous in Terra, Selum Omnipotens, Olim Fi. In the charm of Job, which is intended to kill worms, in other words, certain forms of the disease entity, Agla appears in the terminating phrase, In nomine Patris Alia, Aglat, Feligi, Messiestis, Spiritus Sancti Sorchusen. Amen. 
against sacred fire, one must say, Alot het agla, Haman hiwa. The words that delivered the children from the furnace. Daniel 351-290. In the 15th century divination ritual cited by Jean-Baptiste Thiers, it is necessary to say aglati aglata kalan kala when summoning the seraphim Uriel. Dares also provides other phrases featuring Agla. Here is one that spares its bearer from all danger. Agla pentagrammaton on athanatos anafarkon des aras mes barnasa lutius bukela agla agla tetragrammaton etc. conjuro vos omni arma etc. obscuro te domini fili de etc. abapater miserere me etc. Agla is used to dull the cutting edge of a blade. After one has spoken the incantation, in the name of the blood of the Lord, one must say four times, Panton, Genton, Agle, Pater, Noster. Agla has been written on amulets since the Middle Ages to provide protection from fire. In the Dutch phrase, against conflagrations, Agla forms part of the invocation and is one of the names of God. Hili Hilion Sotharar Emmanuel Saboth Agla Tetragrammaton Hagios Othos Eskirios Eskiros Athanatos Jehovah Adonai Sase Messias. This should be written on the house, which is then sprinkled with holy water. But a slightly richer version of the same phrase can be found in the Thesaurus Exorism, Exorismorum, where it is used to determine if a person is being tortured by unclean spirits. Vexutor a spirit bus immundus. From the 14th to 15th century era, we find the following conjuration in a German manuscript written in Latin. Take the head of the possessed individual into your left hand and place the thumb of your right hand in his mouth while speaking these words in both ears. Ebromanti abria, abremanti consacramentaria, yar, piar, Itumba o pote alacent alafi. Then grasp the individual firmly and recite these incantations. I conjure you, evil spirits, by the terrible name of God Agla and by the very powerful name of God Agla Helene. In another 15th century exorcism ritual, the exorcist must place the possessed on top of a cross drawn in chalk in front of the altar and encircled by the three magic names Agla, Gabla, Emmanuel. Agla is also used against evil spells and demons. For example, one long charm contains the sacred words Heijlik Hurt Agla Inde Tetragrammaton. To communicate with the spirit, it is summoned and the sacred words that follow are then spoken. Allah Dabra, Ladra, Dabra, Rabra, Afra, Brara, Agla, et Alpha, et Omega. Toothaches can be con cured by wearing a note with the Agla Tetragrammaton Emmanuel, followed by Christ vanquishes, and so forth around the neck. A 16th century charm uses this magic word to uncover the identity of a thief with the help of a sieve or a strainer and scissors. The spell caster addresses the utensil with a triple incantation to the three individuals of the Trinity, then to the Virgin Mary, to the patriarchs, prophets, apostles, evangelists, martyrs, confessors, virgins and widows, and finally to the four elements and to the four cardinal points, followed by the cons coercive phrase, I command you by the powerful name Agla. 
The Agrippa, a pamphlet of a magic that was once widespread in the French countryside and the subject of legend, has passed down an exorcism of the aerial spirits that offers us some interesting information. Lot allegedly heard the name Agla, which is what spared his life as well as that of his family. Pronom nomen de Agla, quod loth od divit et factus salvus cum sua familia. Agla also forms part of the three secret names Prohe trea nomenia secretia Agla on tetragrammaton. These two details can be found in the grimoire of Pope Honorius, La Livre des Conjurations, printed in Rome in 1670. Agla is also cited in the Agrippa as part of an invocation of the angels of the four parts of the world. Their names must be written inside the magic circle, and then the following incantation must be spoken. O vos, omenes, o juro, atque, contestor, per sedem adonai, per agios, othios, iskirios, iskiros, athanatos, paraglitis, alpha et omega, et per haec, tria, Nomine secretia alga, on tetragrammaton quod budi tenietis ed impler quod cupio. I implore you, all of you, and summon you by the throne of Adonai, by Agios, Otheus, Iscarios, Athanatos, Paracletus, Alpha and Omega, and by the three secret names, Al Agla, On, Tetragrammaton, that you come forth to do my will. The Agrippa finally uses our magic name, deformed as Agia, in a charm intended to pro provide protection to the flock. First, a pentacle must be made on virgin parchment and then written on it are Athios, Anastros, Noxio, Be, Gloi, Apar, Agia, Agios, Hishirios, and orison. Then a mass should be said over it. The parchment should be trampled by the sheep by being placed between two boards at the exit of the sheepfold so that the herd crosses over it. Then this parchment should be pulled out and kept in a clean location. The Echeririan Leonis Pepe, generally attributed to Pope Leo III, who was elected to the Holy See in 795, used Agla in this charm intended to provide for a good journey. This charm opens with the following phrase, Agla tetragrammaton on, on athanatos anasarkon on pantation jua. An origin from the same collection is preceded in the following manner. And it must be noted that this one contains the name of Christ, which is Agla, which is used to be armored in ice against all adversaries. Of which it is said that when seen and worn every day, one cannot dick of evil or sudden death. With other sacred names, Agla serves also, according to the grimoire of Pope Honorius, to expel the demons in hell, to convoke Bechet, the demon of Friday, and to make Lucifer, or one of his acolytes, appear in beautiful human form without any misshape or ugliness to respond to the true desires of all that I request of him without having the par par power to harm either my body or my soul. The Libro de Segreto e di Magia uses Agla, which it says refers to the key of Solomon, in which the summoning of a spirit, Agla, Tagla, Matthios, Orios, Almosen, Arios, Minbrot, Varios, Pithonco, Magots, Salfe, 
gabbets, salamander, tabbets or jabbets, comus, lerve, cilius, godens, aqua, quinqua, sama, eres tu, erest camus, zariet, nat mic e per. The frequent use of this word has brought about many corrupted versions, such as eglo, aglod, aglati, aglata, abgla. Muslims believe that agla makes it possible to read the future and to find lost objects if it is spoken when facing east. Agla is also featured in the spell to blind a thief in one eye. The spellcaster would use the following material characters. And there is another picture. You should definitely look at archive.org and you can see all of these pictures and uh, writings provided for the book Ancient Magic Words and Spells from Abraxas to Zohar by Claude Elekatu. Today we will end here and next time we will start on page 32. Thank you so much for joining me again. Please like and subscribe, make a comment or ask a question. It helps all with the algorithms and it helps me grow my channel. So if you appreciate my work, please do that. Thank you so much and I will see you next time.